everybody, thank you for watching. So today I transformed myself into the one and only Pamela Anderson. This was so much fun to do. I actually just watched her documentary. I finished a documentary last night and I was in tears. I just absolutely love her. She's such an icon and this was an honor to recreate this look today. So if you guys want to see me transform from this to this, then please keep watching. So it's been a minute since I have erased my brows, but I want to try and do my absolute best to transform into the one and only Pamela. So we got to make these eyebrows disappear because I feel like her signature are her brows. So I have done this a few times, um, but it has been a while as I mentioned. So we're going to just see what happens. I have a little Elmer's glue stick and it's purple, but it does dry clear. So we're gonna cover up these brows. This is step number one. So the goal is to make your brows as flat up against your skin as humanly possible. I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. And I'm gonna take um, a little more glue on the back of my tweezer, like, scrape it off, and just like we'll do one more layer. Cause we want these puppies to stay. I got long eyebrow hairs. All right, so I don't know why this one looks so much longer. It's fine. We're gonna get an orange concealer. Dug through the boxes to find one because I'm not unpacked. And I'm still recovering from being sick for a week, so I apologize for my nasally, nasally sounds. And then I'm gonna go over the brows with the orange. It's cute, right? So now I'm gonna go over it with a one size concealer and it's like a yellow tone. I can't take myself seriously, guys. Best at this. I'm definitely trying. I'm gonna use the banana powder to set them. A little powder puff. Okay, and then we're gonna do one more step of concealer. Um, and then we're gonna do foundation. So, this is some tedious work, guys. Regular color concealer now. This is crazy! So we're gonna set it with a foundation powder, a puff. Push, 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 okay. All right, I have no eyebrows. I'm gonna use the After Party Foundation by El Maquillage in the color 100. A little bit goes a long way with this. I don't want to ruin the eyebrows. It took me a long time. I feel like I'm gonna use this sponge just to save her. Guys, how crazy is this? Hers is more up to turn than mine.
so the eyebrows, this is gonna be hard because I need them to be perfection. I think I'm gonna use like a brow pen or no, you know, maybe I'll use like a pomade. So when I was watching the documentary, I feel like I cried multiple times and related to a lot of the things she said. And I just feel really sorry for, you know, her story. And a lot of people don't ever hear that side or hear someone's story and they just kind of, you know, place judgment on them depending on the way they view them from the outside. And again, I just highly recommend people watching it to kind of see her story and see what she's been through. And I feel like women, especially in that industry during that period of time, whether it be modeling in general or, you know, for Playboy, which is what she ended up doing. She mentioned that she literally made no money off of her modeling with Playboy. And it's so sad that, you know, she didn't have any business advice or anyone to maybe lead her in the right direction at that time. I can't handle these brows. I just want the regular, the rest of my makeup on so it looks better. Now I'm gonna go over the nose, like where I contoured it. Try to keep the shape. So I'm gonna wipe away all the powder and then I'm gonna like bronze up my whole face because she didn't ever have like that light under eye. Um, she looked always way more natural. Maybe not natural, but um, it was just different. So I'm we're gonna bronze everywhere. So I'm doing my makeup based off of this picture. I really love her makeup in this picture. I'm gonna use this palette right here. I'm gonna grab a small blending brush and the color Winner. You know what, I'm gonna just add a little bit of powder under my eye. Cause I'm using like a dark shade and I don't want it to ruin the makeup. I wonder if did her makeup. A little bit of get it. We're gonna do liner and then I'm gonna smudge it. Another thing that really stood out to me was how amazing of a mother she seems to be. And as a single mother myself, I was able to relate to a lot of the stuff that she did go through. Another thing that I noticed about her and me that we have in common is our love for love. And although I have never been married, I feel like I am like a hopeless romantic and always hopeful that I will find love. And of course, can't forget her love for animals. Animals over humans all day, every day. Let's take a little bit of exquisite. like a half of a lash. I'm not done with a lot of it yet, but I just need to put lip liner on because I'm like dying inside. So this is Bite Pencil in 042. Oh, and it says Made in Canada, which I found out she was born in Canada. I just feel like lips are gonna make me feel better. So we're gonna overline. She has like some freckles. Let's bronze up more. I need more bronzer in my life. Blush. I don't love the color of my eyebrows, so we're gonna work on those as well.
So I can't find like a good lip color at the moment, but this is close enough. Right, so are you guys ready for this wig? I'm so excited. I actually, when I first got it in the mail, I tried it on with literally no makeup on. And I was like, um, I'm obsessed. Like I love the hairstyle of it. So, and if it looks good without makeup on, you know it's good. All right, so let's do this. So if I was like actually gonna go out, I would like do it maybe glued better, but <laughs> guys, could you die? She always like has like her hair. Yeah, cut the bangs a little. So I actually had a shirt that was like similar to one of her looks. So I'm gonna put on two different outfits because how do I not? It's just a vibe. How could I forget? You know I got the tattoo. This wig though is like phenomenal. I got it from Etsy and it was like super affordable. We're just gonna clip it and then figure it out. I gotta tear this wall up to let you in. So this is look number two so much fun filming today's video. Like I mentioned before, I watched the documentary last night and I highly recommend you guys checking it out because I truly believe that her story needs to be heard. And by chance, Pamela, if you ever see this video, I just wanna let you know that I love you and you are an inspiration. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.